So lesson one, what exactly is data? And I really want you to pause the video for a while and ask yourself what exactly is data. It's going to be important to do that. If you're in a joint class or something, you know, ask your colleague what exactly is data. It's very important to understand what data is all about. The very essence, the very definition, and then it'll help you. So there are two words that come to mind when you want to define data two basic words and when you understand these words it will help you in the journey no matter how complicated or complex it is as i take you on this journey these two words will help to refine and define that journey so that first word is entity we mentioned here and basically is a thing with a distinct and independent existence it is deeper than what i'm going to say now but just understand it can be anything and it has a distinct and independent existence. What makes it different from the other? So a ball is an entity. A house is an entity. You know, so I will, I will show you a few more things about it. So it's a now. And that's what thing you have to understand it now. So the lady here is an entity. And there are various types of entities that we have um, apart from, you know, human beings, you know, because that's distinct. A lady differs. Some are tall, some are short, some are dark colored, some have hair, some don't have hair, you know, some have a, a voice, some don't have a voice. Some, you know, different kinds of things that can differentiate one woman from another. Another thing is a book. We have big books, red books. We have books on fiction, books on science. So it's an entity. A book also is an entity. Another entity is a house. We have a big house, three bedroom house, one bedroom house, a yellow house, a blue house. So that's entity because it can be differentiated from another. So that is the concept of an entity. The trees, we have almond tree, mango tree, coconut tree, and they are different. If you see a coconut tree, it will look far different from an orange tree. And then if you look at even some coconut trees, they are of different species, different heights. So there's a short coconut tree, there's a tall coconut tree. So there are things that are used to differentiate. So the laptop you are using to watch this, the phone you are using to watch this lesson is an entity. We have a Samsung phone, we have an Apple phone, we have Android, we have Apple. We have differences among different gadgets. We have differences in years of manufacturing. So these in themselves are, are all examples of entities. So I'd like you to pause because it's very important to define an entity in relation to that. And look around you, the table you're sitting on, the TV you're watching, the car that you own, Whatever it is that can be differentiated from another is an entity. The shirt you wear, the wristwatch, the clothes, uh, the food you eat, they're all entities. And when you understand this, it helps you to build up uh, the foundation. So that's the word. So let's look at this one entity now to help us into the next second keyword. So this lady has a name which makes her different from others. She has a gender, obviously she's female, and has a favorite meal, has a weight, has an age, and has a date of birth. The book that we just seen some, some, some slides ago has a title, has a number of pages. So some have 300 pages, some are just five pages book. You know, they're all books. Author or authors, and the year published, some were published in 1960, some others were published in 2020. So it has a color, red book, blue book, green book. It has a category, fiction, science, you know, name it. So all these things define the book, not only define the book, but help to differentiate one book from another. So the keyword that does that, that that stuff that differentiates those those features of an attribute. Sorry, permit me, excuse me. Those features of an entity that define 
that separate one one entity from another is what we call an attribute so i already jumped the gun but that's fine so an attribute is the quality of future regarded as the characteristics inherent or part of someone or something that's what an attribute is it's also a noun you know but technically i like to see it like a verb sometimes you know a red book yeah two thousand but it's technically a noun so it's something that you look at you know that helps to define um um an entity so those are the two words we mentioned attributes and entity so let's look at this lady again that we had looked at the first entity we looked at in our lesson so let's say her name is florence her sex is female that's another uh, attribute her favorite meal is jollof rice i don't know whether it's africa i mean whether we call that um <laughs> Nigerian jollof rice or Ghanaian jollof rice. If you know, you know. And then weight could be um, 45 kg, age is 23, and date of birth 1997. So these are the, all these are the attributes of this entity called Florence, you know. So let's do a bit of rearranging so i didn't do anything i just rearranged the balls you know so her name is florence her sex is female the favorite meal is jollof rice and then the weight and then her age is 23 and date of birth so everything is still there I just rearranged those uh uh those key information about florence so that is the basic essence of a database so you can see things like this so let's say we get one more person one more entity called james it now has james male fried rice 41 kg 27 years old and on the 22nd of may 1993 so these are two entities and the attributes about them we have about six attributes name sex favorite meal weight age and date of birth these are the two fundamentals of data and i'm sure you have seen a table like this so when you see tables like this in your career and as we move on to very complex and deep things the attributes are the columns and i'm sure you have seen tables that have columns like this and the entities are the roles so there are two entities we have been talking about here and that is uh florence and james you know those are their names so that is the basic fundamental concept of a database. Every single database has is talking about an entity and talking about attributes of an entity. You cannot have one without the other. The minimum a database will have is one entity and one attribute. You understand, which is not much information, but you have to have at least one entity and one attribute. So let's say we just had name florence that's fine it's data and then you add another entity james so you have one name of two entities or the name and sex of the two entities so whatever happens the very essence of a database very very sh basic structure of data has to do with attributes and entities so i'm sure you have seen things like this before so every time you're looking at a column you are looking at an attribute and every time you're looking at a row you are looking at an entity now these things i've mentioned will be very useful in the days to come as you begin to do your analysis you do your reviews it's very important to understand how they work together to help you achieve your goals especially when you're in data so just before we move on to something else you know just need to talk about application of databases and where they are you know it's a big industry where they are very 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 useful so let's look at agriculture in agriculture in agriculture as long as you have entities we have crops they are entities you have maize um what's the word millet you know so we have different entities of crops you have tree crops we have shrubs so we have entities about the people who work in farms, you know, the farmers, various diverse farmers, fish farmer, uh, crop farmer. We have different kinds of animals. We have different kinds of inputs, agricultural inputs, seedlings, 
day old chicks we have different kinds of machinery whether it's the manual tractors you know those who are in agricultural sectors will understand this better so as long as you find entities anywhere in the world you will find attributes and as long as you find entities and attributes you will find databases so we have massive agricultural databases the same thing with education we have for for the equipment for the teachers for the play tools for the books for the buildings they are all entities the library is a building the classroom is a building they're different entities so there are databases about this across the world in education in the area of finances too for savings is a database your your entire account and all your transactions that you've had is a database and then the people who work there or who are clients there you know it's a database we have a database of bank workers you know and they differ from bank to bank the buildings the amounts of money saved you know the investments all these things are what's the word are all databases in the area of health the equipment used for operations the vehicles for transportation ambulances the staff who work there the patients patients are entities you have patients coming to complain of headache patients who are inpatient outpatient the drugs the buildings all these things are um all databases in health i'm just giving an example so whatever industry you find yourself you are likely going to find database the database on transportation how many planes are in the air right now it's a question how many are from um ethiopian airlines how many are from the british airlines how many are from you know different airlines how many are born 767 i mean 747 pardon me <laughs> you know how many uh you know helicopters you know how many even the tools for maintenance how long was your car maintained how frequent is it what's the speed who are the people working how many mechanics even the transportation industry has massive data and i'm going somewhere with all this because whether it's transport uh, agriculture they have key information that help us to take decisions entertainment you know people who are coming for the entertainment how many people are in the club how many people went out for a show you know uh traveling you know to leisure sports sports um uh, how many people attended i mean a sportive sporting events how many tickets were sold to those events whether sporting events comedy events you know so even the entertainment industry massive databases very important very very important and then in the world of commerce you know if you've done shopped online you know the customers databases they have databases so if you understand this you understand that there are so many job opportunities for those of you who are looking for jobs and there are so many ways to diversify your markets if you're managing data you can actually diversify your markets expand and scale up your career into other regions and the, the one thing you have to understand once you understand these principles of entities and attributes it allows you to be able to transit to be able to talk about other things if you have a clear understanding of how uh, databases work so all these are just few of the industries but if i did not mention industry i want to assure you whether it's space something abstract something real somehow databases are being collected every single day we are dealing with entities and we are doing a lot of interactions with databases on a daily basis sometimes we are not even knowing about it some people have wristwatches right now that can keep their heart pulse keep them tell them at three o'clock this was what your heart rate was at four o'clock your heart rate was you know and all that is the database database about me or whoever is wearing the wristwatch so please put this in mind because one i emphasize it for opportunities that will have happened two i'm emphasizing it for the principles whether you are agriculture finance education health 
whatever the industry you find yourself in, if you understand the fundamentals of this course, you will be able to apply it anywhere you go. So we are done with lesson one and we will move shortly into lesson two where we'll talk about the data relationships.